everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So today is kind of a fun project. We're back in my backyard and we're at that garden bed that I planted, that I cleaned up and I planted tulips in a couple weeks ago. Um, so I didn't really know what to do with this garden bed. This garden bed is a really prominent garden bed. It's uh, right by our couch and our pool and our table that we eat dinner at all throughout the summer. So it's something that we're gonna be seeing all year long, you know, right in our faces. And so I wanted something really good and I didn't really know what I was gonna do for that garden bed. And my plan was, is I was going to get a bird bath fountain, a really beautiful bird bath fountain. Actually, my mom got the same one for her I think it was for her birthday last year fell in love with it I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I can't wait to get it but when I was trying to source it trying to find a way to get it here without paying absolutely crazy shipping fees like I'm talking about the same price of the fountain as shipping fees um, I can't get it until July so that's halfway through the year I don't want that garden bed to have nothing in it halfway through the year and yes I could plant flowers around it and all that kind of stuff but I felt like if I was gonna plant a bird fountain that would be a bird bath fountain that would be you know the centerpiece and I would work around it so I decided for this year you know I still want that bird fountain I think um, but I decided for this year I was gonna do something different uh, just just so it wasn't wasted a wasted garden bed for half of the year so my plan was um, and this is kind of a big deal for me because if you guys know I'm not a vegetable gardener, I'm a flower gardener. The only vegetables I grew last year was, I grew a zucchini bush, I grew Kentucky pole beans, and then I grew cherry tomatoes. And the cherry tomatoes, of course, were a piece of cake, but the zucchini, I kept forgetting to harvest it, and the zucchini were getting as long as my arm, and then the Kentucky pole beans, I kept forgetting to harvest those as well, and so they were mealy and kind of gross, and I don't think we got one good harvest off of that plant. So I've decided to try a veggie garden in this garden garden bed this year um, and I'm pretty excited about it I think it'll be pretty cool and so I'm sorry about how bright it is it is an absolute gorgeous day out here it's like 72 degrees right now so wonderful but you can see this is the garden bed that I'm talking about and my plan is to do a keyhole garden so I don't think I'm gonna put raised beds in here you know this is pretty good soil and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this as a veggie bed more than one year so I don't want to do anything too permanent like raised beds would be so my plan is let me show you the my little drawing that I did so my plan is so here's the window here's the table where we were standing before I'm gonna do a keyhole garden which I think would be absolutely gorgeous and the keyhole garden is just where you have a little notch or a walk-in in the middle so that you have access to this parts all these parts of your your uh, veggie bed so I kind of planned it out I made a list of the herbs and the vegetables that I want to put in um, and so I think that that will be really really gorgeous but my conundrum I guess I'll say was what was I going to use as edging I wanted it to be really pretty I wanted it to match with the rest of my my garden you know because I, I, I aesthetically I wanted it to look nice so then I remembered that I watched this video that Monty Don had where he talked about waddle fencing can you guys see that so waddle fencing I guess it is like hundreds of year old technique they've used it in england forever i've never been to england so i can't attest to seeing it there but from everything i read they use it all the time and basically what it is is it's a vertical um supports and then small branches woven back and forth you know so it's basically like a woven fence so i'm gonna try and make today my project is to try and make a woven wattle fence as a garden bed edge all the way around this garden bed with the keyhole kind of going in there. Um, I think I'm not going to do the keyhole today because you can see all my tulips are coming up and I don't want to disturb them. So I'll just leave a gap right here so that I can make my keyhole a little bit later after I harvest everything. And then I'm planning to pull out the irrigation and replace that for the vegetables as well. But I can at least try and get the wattle all the way around here. So with all my research, what I figured out is the vertical supports, which you can use 
Um, you can use more of the sticks if they're strong enough. I decided to use these bamboo stakes because I felt like they were nice and straight and made it look a little bit cleaner. These are called the sails, and then the woven small sticks are called weavers. And so um, the wattle fence is composed of uh, sails and weavers, and you kind of just go through and you want to make sure that you have these, these thin sticks that will at least go around three of the sails. And what that does is that makes it um, really strong and really supportive and it makes it so that it's, you know, it's, it's going to stay standing. From what I've read, and I don't know if this is correct, but moist environments, it will last less long, but dry environments like here in California, they said wattle fences can last 10 to 15 years. I don't think this is going to last 10 to 15 years. I don't really care. I just need it to last one year. Um, but I thought that it's, you know, it's a really cheap, really easy way to do it. So the only thing that I have, I guess, somewhat paid for so far is these bamboo stakes that I got off Amazon last year that I was, I was using these for my Dahlia stakes and I'm just cutting them in half and you know, I'm just, um, uh, what am I trying to say? digging them into the ground. What word am I trying to say? <laughs> but getting them into the ground so that they're supportive and then weaving the stakes, the weavers, the little twigs around these. I can't talk right now, sorry guys. And then if we come around here to my side yard, you guys will see this big pile of sticks that I have. And I'm sure you're wondering where on earth I got this big pile of sticks because I don't have like a forested area. My, my yard is very, very small. It's less than a quarter acre, you know, in a, on a, a suburban lot. And so I don't have any trees like this that I could get sticks from. But what I do have is in my town, they have green waste piles every so often. So the city gives out green waste bins, like garbage bins, like over there, that you can put your green waste in. But then for the overflow, um, about once a month, they let us put a pile out in the front, you know, on, on the street, and then trucks will come around and grab it. So a couple weeks ago, people started putting, you know, they started doing their pruning, their spring, late winter spring pruning. And I noticed that all the sticks were very similar to the type of sticks that I was looking for for a wattle fence. So you can see this stick, I am not good at identification. I don't know what kind of stick this is, but you can see how pliable it is. It's green, it's new wood, it was just cut off, um, and I think it's gonna be perfect to weave. And like I said, I, or like I showed you before, I already tried a little bit and it seems to be working perfectly. I tried a couple other ways to do it. You can see this kind of mess down here. I tried it with a little bit bigger sticks like this and these guys didn't work. This was too big. This was too thick and it just looked really, really messy. Even this was too thick. You guys can see the size of that. That was, that was just too thick. Um, you know, they need to be smaller so that you can weave them through. And what I did is I did, I would weave five in the back and then I would start going in the front five in the front five in the back and five in the front and to me I felt like that was the prettiest way to do the wattle fence so that's my plan for this afternoon I just want to try and get the perimeter of that wattle fence up for my my new veggie garden for this year I'll show you guys in another video all the seeds that I've purchased um, I'm a little nervous to get it from seeds as well I kind of feel like I should have started with starts from the garden nursery, but I figure I might as well try it. I can do flowers. I'm sure I can do vegetables as well. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna go change. It is warm out here. It is really warm. So I have to go get some lighter clothes on and then I'll show you guys first putting up the sails and then weaving all the sticks through.
here's my progress so far. I've used, I don't know, a quarter of all the sticks and I've got this part right here done. I'm happy with that. The curve I have about halfway up and the part, the hard part that I'm running into is once you start getting to this part, some of these pieces are sticking out. So I've kind of abandoned the idea of doing the five and five and I'm just alternating back and forth. And then the hard thing is, is when the stick is a little bit curved, it will stick out. Um, let's see, maybe like that one right there. You guys see that? So I think it's still looking pretty. I'm trying to make it as neat looking as possible so it doesn't just look like a pile of sticks. Um, but it's a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep messing with it. I'm gonna keep playing with it. This is um, Sparkling Amethyst Verbena from Improved Winners. It's so beautiful. And there are buds absolutely everywhere. I haven't fertilized this guy yet. So I think as soon as I fertilize it, it's gonna go crazy. So I think I'm gonna have to, uh, before I fertilize it, I'll transplant it because I'm planning for vegetables to go right there. Um, but as I'm sitting here working, I'm just noticing all the buds that are on there. And it's just, it's just that time. I am warm out here. I'm just not accustomed to working in 70 degree weather yet. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going and we'll see if I can get this done. Okay, you guys, I think I'm finally done. So you can see it behind me. I think it's looking pretty good. I'll show you a close up in a little bit. Um, so it was a pretty easy project. Once you got the sails, the vertical uh, supports in, I put mine in every 12 inches. I thought that that was uh, a good distance. And then, you know, just started weaving as I went through. And I was trying to do the five sticks at the same, you know, weave pattern to make it look a little bit cleaner. But as I was getting around this curve right here right here it was just it was too hard to do that it was um, you know if I had stopped them all at one spot then they would have all stuck out at one spot so I had to kind of weave them in you know in and out of each other um, the one thing that I would say if you guys are gonna try and do this yourself is you have to get thin sticks I kept trying to use you know even a teeny bit bigger than a pencil size and it was just too thick it was too um, rigid and there's a couple of them on the bottom uh, the bottom bottom of the fence, the, the um, edging that are bigger that I just ended up leaving there. And if I was to do it again, I would have taken those out and just done all thin sticks. Um, so I can see why people use willow for this project because I feel like willow would be all really thin, all really pliable um, and all similar size. So I think it would look a little bit cleaner, but I'm still really happy with the result that I got. I think that it's gonna be so beautiful to have a vegetable garden in that little space. Let me show you. Okay, so here it is. Now we're a little bit more in shade now, so I feel like you guys can see it a little bit better. But over here is where I had it done. That was, um, I had done it before. And you can see I had, you know, the five of each woven and it's kind of like a nice pattern. And I really like that. Um, but with the curve, like I said, with the curve over here, it's just not possible. Uh, I just couldn't do that. So I started on this side, brought it around this corner, and then gradually brought it around this curve and it's this curve that gave me the hardest time um, so you can see some of them are sticking out I'll come through and I'll probably trim some of them but I just want to see um, see this big piece here this is what I was talking about bigger than a pencil um, you know 
I, I feel like I want to cut that off, but I'm just going to kind of look at it. I'm not even going to trim the bamboo uh, sails because I want to see if I want to add a couple more um, layers, you know, another inch or two of sticks. But for right now, I have to say I'm really, really happy with this. This was like basically a completely free project and I think it's very cottagey and very cute. And once I get the keyhole in, once the tulips bloom, I think it's going to look even better. And then I think I'll put some rocks right there so I'll have my little walkway and then I'll have the veggie garden all here isn't this cute so I'm really happy with it I'm even tempted I'm thinking about doing this around my cut flower garden if I could find enough sticks um, but you know I'll think about it uh, it's you know it's it would be a bigger project my cut flower garden is 10 by 20 feet so it would be a significantly bigger project but it also wouldn't have this curve right here. So that might make it a little bit more straightforward and I would know what I was dealing with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. It was a really fun thing to do. And I think if you had, you know, access to these sticks or like a willow tree in your backyard or something like that, this would be so fantastic and really fun to do with kids as well. Um, and like I said, it gives that really cute cottagey natural vibe that I really like. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get some time to get out into your garden. Um, I don't know about you guys where you guys live, but it's going to be a gorgeous gorgeous weekend for us so I'm planning to get a lot of stuff done um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in another video very soon